Hi friends, today we are going to put the last final touches on the living room Christmas decor and then we're going to take a tour together. So right away, I want to say thank you so much for all the love and support that I received on my last video where I was really emotional about how I hadn't gotten my tree up yet and how I'm dealing with a lot of stress. And I want to say thank you not only for being kind towards me, but also for sharing your own personal stories and what you're going through. That was really meaningful and I'm very grateful for all of you. So thank you for watching and for being so sweet. Um, and as you can see, my tree is up now and I'm so excited about it. These ornaments really do spark a lot of joy for me. I have some for my Oma and Opa, like obviously this big one and I put right in the center. But then all of these really cool atomic ones are from my Oma and Opa. I have them in red. And then let's see, what other ones do I have? These ones are from my Oma and Opa. So these ornaments really make me happy and make me miss my Oma and Opa, especially during the holiday season. I don't have any gifts wrapped yet, so I put a bunch of ornament boxes down there. I left the ornaments inside so you could see them. And then here are some gift boxes that I've thrifted over the years. Um, since I've been so stressed about stuff, I decided to leave the back of my tree completely empty. Normally I put like ugly ornaments back there that I don't really like, but this year I just left the ugly ornaments uh, back in the bin and said, who cares? Here's my cat Libby. Hi. She's very excited that the living room is decorated for Christmas. She likes to sleep under the tree sometimes. Okay, so let's put the final finishing touches on my decor. So this is the most special thing that I do at the very end. And so I wanted to save it for you guys to see. Um, I do it every year. So these are my Oma and Opa's ornaments that are really, really special. They're miniature. I have no idea where they're from. Unfortunately, the box is completely blank. They're really colorful and they're mini and really cute and really fragile. I also have these ones as well. And so I like to appreciate them a lot by instead of putting them on the tree, I put them right here in these little holly bowls that I have. And so let's put these together. just the fact that like you can see these hooks they're not actual hooks they're just wire and I know my Opa made those he made all these hooks individually for these ornaments and they look kind of you know a little wonky but I love it and I love that I know that my Opa put all the work into that because he was trying to save money and that really it makes them extra special. Oh yeah, and you know how I said that the atomic ones are my Oma and Opa's? This one broke. It broke this year and I was so devastated. And I put it in the trash and then I immediately walked back to the trash and said, I should use that somehow. And so I just stuffed it in that jar, in the little sleigh, and I can still see it even though it's totally broken. Okay, let's start the tour. So first we're gonna start with my big shelf and I did my Putts Village in here this year and I used pink Pyrex 
And then I also used pink and mint uh, jello molds to have more of like a pastel color scheme. I also used a vintage tablecloth here and I explained like how I hang this in my living room tour video from like the spring and summer. So I'll link to that video if you want to see that. These are all my putts houses and so they're all different sizes. So I have like really miniature ones and then I have really, really big ones and I love the size variations. And then I also have four putts houses that I made myself and you can see some of them up here, and I'm very proud of them. So in my last video, I showed where the Christmas tree was gonna go, and I said, that record cabinet has to go. But I decided to actually keep my record cabinet here. So here it is, I can still access them. I just covered it with a vintage tablecloth, and it's really important to me at Christmas time to have very easy access to my record player because I listen to the most records at Christmas. And so this is really convenient to have this right here. I have these little mini jar snow globes that I made. And I put this in front of my front door, but my house has two front doors, so it's not a big deal. Nobody ever comes through this door. And I was gonna decorate this with, I have these like pink felt snowflakes that I was gonna put there, but I ran out of steam and that's okay. And it will also give me something to do to decorate in the winter time because the pink snowflakes are perfect for winter. So I'm gonna save it for that and I'm just gonna be okay with this little bit and having my bare door, it's not a big deal. This year I added two new vintage Christmas lights to my collection. So I got this snowman at a flea market and then I also got this candelabra at a thrift store and I love them both, I love seeing them lit up. And someone on my Instagram asked me where I got these light bulbs from and they came with the candelabra at the thrift store. A lot of the candelabras that I do see have like the plain bulbs, which like if you like them, that's cool. But I also understand how they can be a little boring. I did find these same ones on Amazon. You can buy them to replace the plain ones. So I will link to that. And then also another person on my Instagram messaged me and said that she actually put bubble lights in them and it looks so cool. I never thought of that. And so I think I might have to try that sometime. So I'll also link to bubble lights on Amazon if you want to give that a try. I've made a bunch of my own Christmas pillows. Um, so I made these, they're like a winter wonderland ice skating. I also made these pillows, which is just like an old fashioned Christmas type print. And I love having these. I made them maybe like five years ago. This one I always have on my couch and I constantly get asked questions about it. It's really cute. Um, I did buy it, I would say maybe like 10 years ago from a store that I no longer shop at because they don't provide free access to birth control. Um, so I refuse to talk about them. However, I did find this exact same deer on a pillow and it is sold on Etsy. And so if it's not sold out yet, I will link to that Etsy shop because I'd much rather support a small shop that makes their own pillows versus a corporation that doesn't support women. Anyway, I also have some vintage tablecloths on here. I use those as like blankets. I don't actually use them, um, but I love vintage Christmas tablecloths. They're so versatile. I use them for like everything. I use them for curtains and for the backs of chairs. I basically use them for everything except like actually using it as a tablecloth. Uh, so I'll link to some vintage Christmas tablecloths if you'd like some. Oh yeah, I'm sure someone will ask about this little gingerbread house. It is a cat house and I got it at a Christmas gift exchange with my family. I think this one is from Aldi, um, but Target sells really cute ones too. And I like to get my cats a new one every Christmas. So I will link to the Target ones. My pie safe is also my TV stand, which I stare at a lot. So I like to put some of my favorite things on my pie safe. Um, I thrifted a lot of these Christmas mugs over the years and I just got this really cute Santa. I think it's, yeah, it's a candle. It kinda looks like an egg cup. Um, so I got him, he's made in Japan. I found him at a thrift store this summer. And then I also have this little pink mailbox here. I think it's a toy mailbox and I have that. Um, it isn't Christmas, but I thought I'd put it in here cause it's like mailing your letters to Santa. I love my electric fireplace. I talk about it all the time. It's my absolute favorite. So I will link to it if you want to get one. Uh, it's my favorite to decorate at Christmas time. So I have this cute stocking that I got this summer. It says cats love Christmas too. And I make sure to space my stockings out because this is also a space heater. So then I can still use that. Um, I also incorporated some pink Pyrex here, just like I did over there. So it's on both sides of the living room. And I definitely think 
I'm gonna incorporate pink in my Christmas decor from now on. This is my first year doing it and I love it. And it totally makes sense for my house anyway because I permanently have pink vintage sheet curtains and then I also have a pink desk in my living room. So it works really well in here and I love the more pastel-y color scheme. And it'll also make it really easy to turn it over for Valentine's Day. This purple shelf, I put very minimal effort into, and it probably took me about 10 minutes to decorate. I used my really big Christmas houses. This one and that one are from Michael's. That's a vintage igloo that I got at a thrift store. That is a jewelry box, and those hold little candles. So they're all pretty random, and I think they look cute together. I also put my biggest bottle brush trees here, and then I put these tiny little Santas on them, I had a big pack of them. And then I also have my really big Santa and reindeer blow mold up here, which I showed in my vintage blow mold history video. And so now you can see it in action. I think my gallery wall is my favorite part of my Christmas living room. I love it so much, especially because of these Santa napkins that I got in downtown Holland this year. I also alternated it between these Christmas coasters and Christmas coasters are so affordable. You can get like a pack of them for really cheap. They're vintage ones and they have them like on eBay and they are really, really cheap and they're way cuter than the ones that I have. So I will link to those. I definitely need to buy more. These are the only ones that I have. And then I also put this pink chenille blanket back here and I almost got rid of this blanket because I've never decorated with it before but I'm so glad that I kept it because it really worked this year with doing the pink theme and I really think it ties it all together. So that's my living room tour. Thank you so much for joining me for this holiday theme tour. I appreciate you so much and stay tuned for next week. As long as everything goes well I should be doing my dining room tour and then hopefully the kitchen as well. So we'll see you next week. Bye, friends.